Now, many of you in this room will have daughters and granddaughters, and you'd agree that uh, their career progression should be equal to that of their brothers. Am I right? No. <laughs> you better talk to your daughter. Now, so how come that is so? The worldwide, just three to four percent of all airline pilots are women, and we don't want any sexist jokes, do we? In Australia, Answer was the first to hire a female pilot, Deborah Lowry. Can anyone hazard a guess when that was? A date? <laughs> 1979. Yet it was 1983 when hire, uh, Qantas hired its first female pilot, and 30 years later, just 4% of pilots in Qantas are female. Four percent of Virgin, eight at Tiger Air, nine at Qantas Link. Yet, we have such a thing as a Workplace Gender Equality Act, 2012 to be exact, promoting change, but it's coming awfully slowly. Gender neutrality mandated that a cockpit became a flight station and a joystick became a control column. I make no comment. <laughs> so my talk's going to be very brief and it's about 12 extraordinary female pilots. Last month, you remember that I spoke about an Australian glider pilot, Florence Taylor, first, first to fly in Australia on 5th of December 1909. She was the one who said her worst problem was tucking in her skirts. In other words, flying held no fears for her. Some more courageous women. Five years before Captain Arthur Philip landed at Sydney Cove, one Elizabeth Thebe became the first woman in the world to fly. That was an hot air balloon. Five years after the Wright brothers first flew, Therese Peltier was the first woman to fly solo. Here's an interesting one. Blanche Scott Stewart, 2nd of September 1910. Trained by Glenn Curtis, that's a name you would know. Uh, he was a tricky little bugger. He rigged her throttle so that she could taxi but not fly. So he wasn't particularly confident in her flying abilities. Well, that was until a strong gust sent her airborne. So she is considered to be the first female to fly unintentionally <laughs> in America. How well did she get it down? <laughs> not recorded, but she did go on to fly in a jet aircraft with Chuck Yeager in a Lockheed TF 80C. Although it was Am Baumgartner Carl who actually was the first to pilot the jet aircraft at Wright Field the 14th of the 10th, 1944, and that was an appropriate place to do it. Vesica Faith Medler Raich, 16th of 1910, having no training, soloed in a home built, so claims the title of the first intentional solo in America. Rather gutsy. Mary Bailey, 5th to the 7th, 1927, world altitude record 17,283 feet. In, on 1929, she returned from a flight to Croydon, Cape Town and back, a 10 month, 29,000 kilometre journey, the longest solo flight by man or woman to that date. Amy Johnson, 24th to the 5th, 1930, many records, one of which was to accept a wedding proposal by James Mollison during a flight, only after eight hours of knowing him. Did you know that she was tragically killed in 1941, shot out by a RAF pilot as uh, she didn't have the correct uh, identification code? Uh, and the chap who dived into the Thames to rescue her, one of the Lieutenant Commander Walter Fletcher, drowned. Tragic, eh? Jackie Cochran, 1930s, that's the name you'd know. Pioneer, gifted racing pilot who won the Harmon Trophy five times. No other pilot, man or woman, has held more speed, distance or altitude records, and that still stands today. Very influential in setting up the Air Transport Auxiliary and Women's Air Force Service Pilots as organisations. Amelia Earhart, 20th of May, 1932. First woman to fly solo across the Atlantic west to east. Didn't quite make it to Paris. In fact, she landed in Northern Ireland, and she called out to a farmer, where am I? To which he replied, in Gallagher's pasture. <laughs> well, he was specific, wasn't he? In 1928, she had flown the Atlantic, sharing flying with Luke Gordon and Wilma Stoltz. Beryl Markham flew east to west across the Atlantic from the UK to Nova Scotia. Lydia Vladimira Lityevac, 1940s, World War II Soviet pilot, first woman to shoot down an enemy plane. There have only been two 
women aces and she was one having 12 solo kills. Nancy Harkness Love, 1940s, organised women's pilots' contribution to the World War II efforts. And lastly, Hannah Roish, 1940s. And yes, although she was for the other side, she deserves a mention because she was a test pilot, first woman to fly a helicopter. She set more than 40 flight altitude records and endurance record of 11 hours, 20 minutes, and tried to cajole Hitler to leave Berlin with her. Uh, he wouldn't, and she flew out heavily attacked by the Soviets who thought he was on board. That, folks, is my little story. And so back to those drawings. Did anyone draw a, a picture of a female pilot? That's my point. One? Well done you. Thank you, folks.